The crypto marketplace is considerably more volatile and sways a far greater deal than any legacy financial exchange. As such, there was a recent buzz about the return of the bull market following a long and arduous crypto winter. But with markets returning to their former stagnant state, is the bull market over for the year? And if it is, is it too late to invest in crypto this season? Welcome back to No Cap Crypto. Today, we'll be taking a very close look at some of the biggest news out of the decentralized landscape and try to assess the general well-being of the marketplace and what it would mean for regular individual retail investors. Should you be buying? Should you be selling? One thing is for certain, you should be sticking around to the end of this video because you don't want to be missing out on what we have for you today. The recent market signals indicated a withdrawal of funds from traditional centralized exchanges, often an indication that investors are liquidating funds and looking to invest in exciting new altcoin projects from across the decentralized landscape. However, the recent dip in Bitcoin price has sent ripples across the crypto world and started to spread some fear, uncertainty and doubt. This last bull run has certainly been impressive. In fact, the previous bull cycle has been in full swing for the past few years now and has pushed the marketplace past all-time highs. But is it now time to reset? If the BTC bull market truly was over, that this would arguably be the shortest Bitcoin bull market in history. Highly unlikely considering the insane levels of growth, education and awareness the entire crypto industry has seen across the mainstream space, with more and more well-known figures and big investments coming from huge institutional investors, it certainly seems highly unlikely that the bull market truly is over. Newer and fresh-faced crypto investors would certainly be shaking in their boots, but considering the above, the long-term crypto investors should have no trouble seeing the bigger picture and realizing that this should just be a minor dip in the grand scheme of things. Cryptocurrency cynics like to cherry pick their information and display an incomplete set of data. Is crypto really dipping? By what metric? A day chart? An hour chart? Because a yearly chart reveals nothing but upwards growth. Even crypto's digital gold, Bitcoin, is technologically inferior in comparison to the majority of crypto projects and offerings available. Only recently, looking into Layer 2 solutions such as the Lightning Network, this scalable Bitcoin solution currently holds 2,500 BTC in over 73,000 channels. That's in excess of a billion dollars at the time of this video and is a clear indication that Bitcoin is scaling and gearing up for serious increase in activity. Similar indicators can be seen from across the Ethereum ecosystem. Looking at traditional Ethereum and US dollar pairings, it's clear to see that many parameters have been identified that indicate the Ethereum drop has bottomed out, with a rally and parabolic rise to be seen in the near future. This is technically a fantastic time to buy ETH. Although Bitcoin is the market mover, the Ethereum ecosystem is largely the market itself. The major home of decentralized finance and a number of dApps, the Ethereum interoperators and competitors have had a fantastic year so far. Solana, Elrond, Avalanche, Polkadot, Polygon. The fact that the market hasn't recuperated so far is not the time to sell. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Many retail and small cap investors are certainly afraid during this season. However, a closer look at large scale institutional investors and public companies that need to disclose their crypto and Bitcoin holdings are painting a vastly different picture. Many of these huge financial bodies are actually increasing their decentralized assets with every single passing moment, using the threat of a bear market to purchase more crypto assets at heavily reduced rates, may be a sign of clear market manipulation and point towards far more insidious intentions. The funniest consideration behind these crypto holdings across legacy financial corporations is the fact that they are barely even related to the financial marketplace. MicroStrategy, for example, is a software analytics company offering solutions to companies across a range of sectors from Disney to Pfizer and even the federal government. Recently adding to its Bitcoin stash, which totals a whopping $5.1 billion. Diversifying a portfolio is definitely a wise choice for both retail and institutional investors. Many financial experts recommending a sub-5% holding in crypto assets. A 5.1 billion Bitcoin holding would grant MicroStrategy a $100 billion valuation. Far from the truth and a clear indication of just how bullish the corporation truly feels about Bitcoin. Other companies such as Tesla, Galaxy Digital, Square Inc. and Coinbase are up there. But these are just metrics from public companies with Bitcoin holdings. Keep in mind that there exists a plethora of private entities that are not required to disclose their crypto holdings at all. 
These huge Bitcoin holders are certifiable whales, big investors, big crypto buyers. These whales have increased their overall holdings by 103,600 BTC in the past three weeks alone. MicroStrategy is a drop in the ocean of these huge institutional whale buyers. Consider the fact that MicroStrategy had literally no BTC holdings whatsoever a mere 400 days ago. They're newer to crypto than any of us. Apart from Bitcoin, there are some huge developments out of the rest of the decentralized world. But before we get into that, we need to ask. Hey, are you liking the video so far? If so, I have good news. Make sure you like and subscribe to No Cap Crypto because we release videos like this every week. Also, comment below and let us know what you think about the future of the crypto marketplace. Make sure to stay to the end to not miss anything important. 2021 has been exceptionally great for the Cardano project and its native token. Cardano is relatively newer to the blockchain game, with its developer and original founder of the Ethereum network. Leaving Ethereum due to internal disagreements, Cardano has seen insane levels of growth. The network has taken a vastly different approach to the majority of other blockchain ecosystems in development. Opting to only implement peer-reviewed, tested, and verified technology and software as opposed to the more radical try-and-try-again approach of the Ethereum team. The biggest news out of Cardano is the release and complete implementation of the Alonzo hard fork. This should be fantastic news for all you ADA token holders out there. The Alonzo hard fork is the primary rollout of the smart contract functionality across the Cardano network. The successful deployment of the Plutus smart contract functionality across its mainnet is set to introduce a great deal of additional use cases and functionality such as DeFi to the Cardano network as more and more new projects and teams start heading over to this exciting new blockchain protocol. The future is definitely crypto and it's clear to see that large financial institutions are looking to scare off retail and individual investors in an attempt to purchase assets at heavily reduced rates. The future of crypto looks bright, with more and more exciting developments and opportunities for making money at every single turn. Let us know what you think about today's daily dose of fresh news from crypto in the comments below. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor and that this video exists purely for educational purposes. Please do your own research and make your own intelligent financial decisions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our next video, and I'll see you in the next one.